Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to a brand new integration video uh, and today we're going to be talking about Office 365 because uh, it does come uh, extremely often in um, any sort of customer related conversations um, and I wanted to make sure that we hey, can spend a few minutes to emphasize how uh, VMware is the one by the low cloud uh, will help you access any um, Office 365 workloads. There are two things uh, that I'll be focusing on. Uh, first of all is this idea of gateways and how we can optimize um, especially last mile issues with it. And secondly, I'm going to be talking about how uh, VeloCloud is part of the Office 365 network partner program. Uh, so this means that not only uh, we are audited uh, to make sure that everything we do is in accordance to uh, Microsoft's best practices, but also that we use APIs to update the application recognition engines on each of these boxes. Let's do a quick whiteboard to recap the main points. Okay, so we have uh, our edge here acting as the router of your uh, branch or office. Uh, and we have a couple of uh, Office 365 workloads across the internet. Obviously, Microsoft wants us to make sure that we connect to the closest uh, entry point based on uh, geographical location. And this is where you will most likely find um, your primary gateway. So if you checked the video I've done on gateways, uh, you'll remember that by default, uh, VMware is uh, hosting them. Uh, in public data centers. Each edge will have a primary gateway that it uses as a controller. And the same primary gateway that is assigned based on geographical distance will also act as the SaaS gateway. So this means that you can extend the power of SD1 by creating overlays to the gateway. And this will encompass most of the route from your location all the way to the doorstep of Office 365. And why do we want to do that? Well, we want to make sure that if there are any problems in the last mile here, that we can overcome them with the power of DMPO, so dynamic multipath optimization. In case we have multiple links, we'll be able to aggregate them. And if we're downloading something, we can use them all at the same time because of the per uh, packet technology. We'll be able to steer based on performance. And also, um, in case something goes wrong and no uplink is good, we will kick in remediation techniques. Again, we really want to emphasize that with a traditional router or most SD1 solutions, you'll not be able to do this. Yes, some do um, IPSLA to a uh, fixed point, and you can take decisions based on that, but you'll not be able to utilize the full fledged power of SD1 and its fabric without having something as close as possible to that resource across the other side of the internet. I did also mention that the edge itself does dynamic application recognition. And this is where we uh, partner with Microsoft and use their APIs to get the edge to learn uh, the latest changes in um, how the app looks like. So uh, the edge will be able to recognize better any flows to Office 365, but also how it needs to handle them. For you as an admin, it's just as easy as setting your intent in the orchestrator. But um, I wanted to show you this whiteboard because I want to emphasize how many things are actually happening inside the box itself and what level of engineering uh, has gone into the VeloCloud SD1 solution. OK, so uh, now let me show you how easy it is to configure everything. I have my edge at home here. Uh, it is bound by a profile. 
And if I click inside the profile, I simply have to go to business policy, create a new rule. I can be very specific where the traffic is coming from. Um, in case I just want to prioritize corporate um, VLAN, for example. And then inside destination, I can then define Office 365. Now we're already talking to Microsoft to uh, make sure we can uh, properly identify Office 365 traffic. So we abstract that from uh, uh, the admin. And the last thing I have to do is um, set the priority. Uh, as you see, we already set it on high and uh, uh, that's how I recommend you leave it. Service class is by default set as real time and it is not configurable. What you can configure is um, setting it to direct internet access uh, or multipath. And multipath will mean that uh, the gateway is currently being used. Last but not least, uh, you can be specific to what uh, interface or type of interface you want the traffic to flow. Um, so you can be quite specific on which interface is preferred when everything is all right, and also uh, what you want the edge to do in case something goes wrong. Uh, but my recommendation is again, leave it on auto. Uh, this means that DMPO has full power over all the links and it will be able to um, do everything we just have discussed. Click OK. Potentially don't forget to uh, give this a name. And then that's it. We have a service that defines Office 365 coming in from anywhere in my local area network and using the gateway with a high priority. So in case of contention, the edge will make sure to always prioritize this business critical traffic.